everyone, my name is Lydia and welcome. Today we're going to be painting Peaceful Angel. I'll go over the materials that you need to do the painting as well as list those materials down in the description box below. And we'll walk through the painting together step by step. I'll also provide a picture of the final painting on my Instagram account at Lydia Pangborn Art. For those of you that have taken the time to subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and hitting that like button. So, so grab your paints, your brushes, and something to stay hydrated, and I'll meet you back at the easel. The materials we're going to be using to do our painting today are acrylic paints, and the colors on the palette are going to be Quinacridone Magenta, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Phthalo Blue, Mars Black, Burnt Sienna, Titanium White, and today I'm going to be using some unbleached Titanium White. If you don't have unbleached Titanium White, you could use a little Titanium White mixed with um, a bit of the Cadmium Yellow and a touch of the uh, Burnt Umber if you have that. And if you don't have um, any of those colors, you can certainly tint your white with some blue for what we're going to do. We're using it for the wings today. So you could tint it with blue and just go over with white. Um, when we get to that step, you'll see what I'm talking about. The paintbrushes I'm going to be using are a one inch flat brush, a three quarters inch angled brush, and you can certainly use a half inch or one inch if that's all you have, a small round brush. And I'm also going to be using a small liner brush today. You're gonna to wanna to have a jar of water for rinsing your brushes, a paper towel or an old cloth for drying your brushes, and a mister bottle for keeping everything nice and damp as you work. I'm gonna be working on a nine by 12 stretch and prime canvas. Feel free to change the size if you'd like. So let's get started. I want my canvas to be dark. So I'm gonna dip my one inch flat brush into my water and I'm gonna get the excess water off the brush and I'm gonna pick up some phthalo blue and black and I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole canvas in phthalo blue and black. And I'll come back in and I'll put my sketch in. And so you can see the sketch a little better. I'll go ahead and fill it in with white again. So I'm gonna go ahead and you don't have to do that step. I'm just gonna do that so that you can see it. So I'm gonna, I'm coming in and I'm picking up some phthalo blue and some black. And I'm gonna pick up a little titanium white so you can see if I put some titanium white to this, it's a little bit more blue than it is black, but the black is helping to give it a little dark color. And I'm gonna pick up a little drop of this white. I'm gonna start over on this side corner and I'm just gonna start doing, you can get this on any way you want. I'm doing the, the X strokes, these long strokes. Got a lot of water on my brush still. These long strokes. I'm gonna pick up a little more white and come over in this little corner here. There we go, and start working that across. Now I'm gonna come in and dip into my water, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice blended look. There we go. And you can go ahead as well and get the sides of your painting as you're working. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick up some of this blue, a little black, and just a little white. And I'm going to come down and continue to do the same thing all the way down the canvas. And I started below where I had left off and I'm just working it back up just to blend it in. And if you feel as though you need to do a second coat of paint on yours, you certainly may do that. I'm picking up a little bit more water. Get a little bit more blue down here. some of that titanium white and I do want it to be a little darker down on the bottom so I did pick up just a little bit more of the black I'm pushing hard to get some of that paint out of my brush And I'm 
going to wet my brush, get the excess water off, and I'm going to start down here at the bottom and just give a little sweep across my canvas just to give it a little bit more of a blend. And if you feel like you didn't get your canvas fully covered, you have a lot of white spots, you can certainly go ahead and let this dry and do a second coat. And this is the only time we're gonna be using this one inch flat brush. So once I'm done and I have it the way I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush out and come back for the next step. So we're back and I have put my background in. I have it the way I like it. And I went ahead and put my drawing on and I filled it in in white, which is not something that you have to do. But in order for you to see it on camera really, really well, I thought it would be nice to go ahead and just put a coat of white gesso to fill her in and we'll go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some stars in. So what I'm going to do is I'm using my small round brush and just simply some white paint. So my small round brush is damp. Try to get some of that excess water off. I'm bad about leaving water in. And you can do this with the very tip of your small round brush. You could even do this with the end of your paintbrush or a paintbrush that has a small end to it. And I'm gonna go straight in and I'm just gonna randomly put some of these little dots in. And it's as though she's floating through air, so I'm gonna have some down below her and all around her in the, in the top portion of the painting as well. So I'm just gonna go in and just start just lightly just touching in some of these little areas of dots and some will be bigger, some will be smaller. I'm lightly touching, letting the paint just come off randomly, serendipitously. And we are gonna put one nice big star in up in this corner here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of these in. And I'll go down here. And I've only dipped into my paint once so far and just continuing just to make little dots with what's on the brush. And once you have as many as you like, you can do a few, you can do a lot, you can do none at all if you don't want stars in your painting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just dot some on the side as well, just a little, it looks like it's all gonna belong. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna dip into my yellow with a little bit of the white. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this paint I don't want too much paint on the brush. But I do want this to be a little bit more fluid. I want the paint to be a little more fluid. A little bit more white in there. A little bit more water. And it is a rather inky consistency. So I'm gonna put my star over in this little corner and I don't want too much paint on the brush. So I've got the paint, the consistency that I want. And I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna make a little circle to start with. And there's my somewhat of a circle. And I'm just gonna to start to pull out in all directions from the center of my circle out. So I'm just pulling out what I think would be a nice star shape and then I'm gonna let that dry. So there that is, and that's just the beginning of a brighter star. And we're gonna let that dry and we'll come back to it. And I'm gonna get that yellow paint out of my brush, so I'm getting that out. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start with my titanium white that's unbleached. Now if you want, you can use a different color. You can certainly do a blue mixed with some of the white to start this under um, painting of her, her wings but I'm gonna start with a little bit of this titanium white. And I may just do a hint of yellow into that, not too much. And I am gonna start by just making strokes that are going in the direction of what I think feathers would go on in her wing. But first of all, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna fill up this top part with this paint. 
And then I'm just gonna start to flick out this color in little spots. And I am gonna go past my shape so that it looks like there's little feathery bits that are coming off the wing. I want to make sure I go right up to the edge of this wing and it'll all make sense in a little bit when we get the white bits on. And I'm just going to continue to work making just little strokes, short pulls, so I'm just lightly pushing down. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the brush at all. I'm just starting to fill in. And if it goes over her arm a little bit, that's okay because we haven't painted her in. So I am working from the back of the painting to the front of the painting. I'll go ahead and put these little bits out to the edge and that'll give me a little guideline. I'll come right up underneath her arm and then just start filling that in and doing little strokes down. And you can always come back in if you feel like you don't like where you put a stroke. We're gonna be putting another layer of white over all of this. So this is just a bit of that, um, that background color. So this is just our first little layer of paint. And this still stays a bit wet. We want this to be a bit wet and the consist consistency to be a little bit more um, a, an ink-like consistency so it flows off the brush much easier. I'm gonna come up right alongside her there. And we're just doing this step so that we can add some depth to her wing. Because if we went in with just the white, it wouldn't, have depth, it would be very flat looking. I'm gonna come up and put a little bit more in the top wing here. And then I'm gonna go ahead on this side and do the same thing. So we see quite a bit of her wing that gets cut off over here, but I'm still gonna work on it. It's on the side over here. And some of this wing is gonna be covered up by her hair, but we're just gonna go ahead and put some color there so that we don't have to worry too much if we miss a spot. I'm gonna come over here off my canvas and go ahead and get that filled in as well. All right, so we're gonna let the wings dry and I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting the base coat of her hair. So I'm gonna use my, I didn't rinse my brush out from the, the titanium white and yellow mixture, but I'm gonna come up here and pull some of this burnt sienna into my brush and get that mixed around. I'm gonna have this a little darker I'm gonna go ahead and get a touch of the blue. A little bit more of that mix in there. Titanium white and a little bit of the yellow. I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna lighten this just a little more. We are gonna have a little bit more depth to our hair. So 
just think I'm gonna put a little more white in that. And I'm just gonna come in and follow along just with, again, some short strokes. And I want this to be a little bit wet so it flows off my brush nice and easy. And I'm just pulling down these nice little strokes. And this is just the beginning of her hair. And you can make her hair any color you want. If you wanted it to be purple, um, you could do that or blue or just red. I mean, just using your own imagination and your own experiences, just creating the colors that you want. I'm gonna bring some of that down this way. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone for now because we'll be putting more of the hair in, in, in later. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse my brush, the same brush out, and we're gonna go ahead and get her outfit filled in. So her dress to me, since she's kind of floating up in the air, is gonna be more st straight with maybe a little bit of folds in it, but I'm not gonna have a lot of folds in her. She's just gonna be more of a nice angel just floating up and it's the dove and her looking at the dove that I want to bring the attention to. So what I'm gonna do with all the paint cleaned out of my brush, I'm gonna get some of my normal titanium white and some of the yellow. And I'm gonna mix that up a little bit of my water here to this as well a little more white and i'm just going to start to put in her dress as more of a yellow color for now and it's going to look a lot like her wings in the beginning but we are going to have the wings looking quite different in a little bit and i'm just following along the contour of her dress And I've done her um, this painting, a similar painting to this before, and I made her dress green. So you certainly can make her any color that you want. Down here near her hand, we're gonna be working a little bit on detail. And I'm just gonna go right up. I'm not gonna go in between her fingers right now. We're gonna use our very small liner brush for that. But I can, if I feel like her fingers are a little too one way or the other, I can make some adjustments at the tips for now. And we'll get in between them in just a little while. I'm gonna work right up to the tip of her thumb there, just like I did with the fingers, and just continue to pull out. And you can make this painting as big as you want. I, I'm pretty sure I said this was a nine by 12. If I didn't, this is a nine by 12, so it's a smaller painting, but you certainly could make it any size you want. I'll know when I edit it if I said that out loud or not in the beginning. And I'm also gonna go ahead and fill in the top part of her dress. You could definitely use your angle brush for this. I'm just doing this first layer with this small brush just to get my layers established. And when I go back and do the second coat, especially on the lower part of her dress, I'll be using the, the bigger brush. And 
And while I'm still working with this brush, I'm gonna go back up to my star and I'm gonna wipe some of this yellow paint off my brush. If I have a little bit up there, it's fine. And I'm gonna go right into this pure titanium white, get a little water around my brush because I still want this to be able to come off my brush very easily. And I do have a little bit of that yellow in there, which is fine. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna make my little circle again in my star and this start to pull out from the center of the star out. This is the bright star. I'm just going to put a little bit more of a white dot in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and get her skin done. And let all of that dry, everything else dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my quinacridone magenta and I'm gonna pull it up here to a little bit of my burnt sienna and I'm gonna pull some white in. And I'm gonna make her pink. You certainly could make her just burnt sienna with some blue for a darker skin tone. You just do you. You do, can do whatever color that you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and put her skin tones in. One thing to remember is that hands can be challenging. So if you do start to get a little anxious about them, you know, just hold your hand up. Give yourself an idea of what it would look like. Or over here on this hand, you know exactly what it might look like if you're holding your hand in the same position. I find that helps a lot. Using yourself as a as a guide. I'm going to take the same color and I'm going to mix it in with a little bit more of the unbleached titanium white. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my dove in. And this is just the base coat of the dove. And then I'm going to take some of my blue and mix it into this color that I'm working with with a little bit more quinacridone magenta so it gives me a purpley color and I'm going to come down and I'm going to go ahead and fill a base coat of her belt in.
Okay, so she's base coated in. I'm gonna rinse out this brush and I'm gonna start to move into my angled brush and we'll go to the next step. Now that we have our base coat on, we're gonna start to fill in the wings first with just titanium white and my angled brush. So I'm just picking up some paint on my angled brush and I'm gonna come in and start to use the pointy part of the brush, so the little side that points. And I'm just gonna to start to make little sweeps from the outside of her wing in and you can start at the bottom, the top, wherever you want to, but I like to start around the edges first and start to fill those wings in a little bit more. And I made my paint so it is a little bit wet and it's flowing off my brush quite easily. And then as I get the outer edges done, I'm gonna come over here and get a little bit on this side as well. As I get the outer edges done, I'm gonna to start to move more into the center of my wing. And I am just pulling from the pointed part of the brush in toward her body. Just press and pull, press and pull. And you certainly can flip and pull up this way as well. I'm just trying to go in the direction of the way the wings would go. And that really is something you wanna think about. And if you go into her body any, that's okay because we only have the base coat on her. And again, we're working from back to front. And I'm going to start from the outside up above her arm here and do the same thing. And up here, I'm just going to make this a little bit more flat up here and then start to pull from the outside in and even keep a little bit more of that first color in the top area here and I do need to go up underneath her chin so I'm just going to go up under this way there we go and just pull that getting around her face a little more I'm going to go right up to the edge. Shake her chin a little more. There we go. And you can do it the, however you like it. You know, how many, if you like a lot of feathers, go crazy with the feathers, you just want a few feathers poking out, you can do a few. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this other side. And once you have the wings done, we're going to come back to her dress again. And this time I'm going to take some of this yellow and I'm going to add a little bit of my quinacridone magenta and some titanium white. So it's going to have a more of a peach color now. I'm just going to go over the yellow that we already have there. Just a little bit more of that quinacridone magenta. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start to pull down and you can pull either up or down, either way is fine. I'm still gonna leave some of that yellow color showing underneath, but this is just gonna give me a little bit more layers within her dress. The illusion that there may be some folds going as she's moving.
And I just mixed up a little bit more of the color and I made it a little bit more, I mixed just a little bit more of that red into it. And I'm just gonna sweep it in only from top to bottom here. We're going to come back in. We will come back in our, with our smaller brush and work on her hands a little more. I don't want to cover them up, but I'm just making nice little sweeping motions just to get most of the dress color in with these different layers of color. So I'm going to come in and do the same thing up here, just filling in her. And I'm just using the pointed side of my, my um, angle brush. I'm using just the point side of it, just to fill in here on this side. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that yellow and just kind of go over on this side a little more. So it's just a little brighter on this side of the shirt. So I'm just mixing a little bit of my cad yellow. And I'm gonna come up here Fill in her shoulder area. Just using that same color. We'll be coming back with our small brush just to work on some of the detail. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this brush up. We won't be using it anymore. We're going to be working with our small round brush that we were using earlier, and then we'll start to get into our liner brush a little more as we start to work into the details. Okay, so we're going to start to work with her skin a little more. So I've got some Clonacridone Magenta, a little bit of my Burnt Sienna, and quite a bit of white that I mixed in up here. And I want it to be a little bit lighter in color than what's already there. And her chin's gonna be coming across here, so I wanna leave some shadow there. So I'm just gonna to start to put this lighter color around the outer edge of her, of her neck. And I'm just gonna take my finger and start to blend it around a little bit. You certainly could have another little brush going if you want. And I'm gonna come up here, get a little on her chin, but leave a little bit of a shadow underneath her chin. Get a little bit more detail. I'm not gonna do the big detail yet because we're gonna use our small brush to do that. come over and pick up a little bit more of this Quinacridone Magenta. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of a little blush there. Just a nice little circle of blush. Get a little bit more of my white. Just blend that in above it. Again, just blending with my fingers. my darker color here. When we get our smaller brush, we can go in and get the eyes in and do any other little workings of her face that we want to do. And I'm going to take this, this 
same color that I have on my brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of blue and I'm going to come in and just start to work that in on the little belt area here. Come back in from this side, get a little bit more blue. I want it to be a little darker on this side and just blend what I have on my brush with it. So I just picked up some blue and just working it in. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of this lighter color with some white again. And just come in over here and just start to work that in the middle so it'll have more of a round effect to it. We know that it's going around her waist. A little light hit there, a little white. I'll just blend that in here. Kind of like that. And now while we have the skin color, I'm gonna go ahead and start to work on our hands. Just filling that in with the skin color a little more. So I'm gonna get this paint out of my brush. I want just white again so I can work on my dove. And don't worry, we still have a little bit more to do on her dress. So I'm gonna pick up just, just titanium white and get enough out of that little area I got. And I wanna leave a little bit of this base color between this top wing and the, the front one. So the one that's closest to the viewer is gonna be bright and white. And this one's gonna be white, but not all the way down, the one that's furthest away from the viewer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill this wing in. So this is the one closest to the viewer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of it filled in. And I'm also gonna go ahead and get the Little tail feathers filled in and up to where it touches her hand as though it's lightly resting on her hand. And then I'm going to go ahead to this furthest away from us feather. And I'm going to leave a little space between the wings of the base color that we put on. So you can tell the difference between the front wing and the back wing. And while I have this white on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more up to her belt there. And if you see any feathers that you want to enhance while you have your white, Go ahead and do that. There's some area that you're wanting it to be a little bit more pointed or a little fuller. While you have your white is a good time to do that now. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little white in her around her eye area. We'll go ahead and fill that in a little better. Work on her mouth and a little bit with her with our small brush and I'll do a little bit more eye work there and I'm going to take this white and I'm going to go over my star now that it's dry I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle there wet my brush a little bit get some of that paint off 
and just pull it out. One more pull on it to try to brighten that up a little bit more. Make that star even more substantial. And then I'm going to take that white and mix it in with just my yellow. So I'm mixing yellow into my little titanium white area here. And I'm going to start to highlight her dress a little more. So I'm coming in on the top area and I want to make this look round. So in order to make it look like it has volume, I'm going to start with just the yellow, then I'll come into this orange color that I have. So I need a little bit more of that quinacridone magenta to make it look orange. So it's the yellow and the white and the quinacridone. And I'm just going to come along and start to make little circular motions from the bottom of her arm up to meet the area that I just did. bit more water not too much just to do some blending there and I do want a little shadow where that bend is so just a little hint of a shadow along the bend of the arm I just picked up a little bit of that quinacridone magenta and I'm gonna do the same thing I want a little bit more of a shadow under the arm and between the arm and her chest. There we go. And then I'll pick up some more of the yellow and just start to blend that into where I just put the little shadow area. So it's just like making anything round. You wanna have that a light, then working into the middle, and then your darkest color will be on the back edge. And you can even do a little highlight color on the back edge if you like. So I'll go ahead and get this in. more yellow on this side down underneath where her chest is and then coming in a little more there we go and then I'm just going to take a little bit of the quinacridone magenta and make it a little darker in here take some of that orange color and just start to blend it out and you can take your finger if you like and just Blend it that way. If you have another little brush, you don't want to stick your fingers in paint, that's okay. Use another little brush to blend out. And then you take some of just the yellow and just work it up around here. There we go. Just going to brush some of that yellow into the middle here and just blend that in a little with the fingers. So, again, we're going to go dark on the bottom side where arm is so just a little quinacridone magenta right there where those two areas meet and then we can come back get some of the yellow mix it in so it becomes more of that peachy color here and just blend that out then I want to show that bend a little bit there in her arm I'm just gonna put a little bit more of a yellow highlight here maybe that star is casting a little bright light up in here like that a little 
bit of my white and yellow mixture just to lighten that a little bit more. And maybe up around here just a little bit. Here we go. And then I'm going to take my yellow and white, mostly yellow and white. So titanium white and just start to make little highlights that are even brighter down in her dress. With this little small round brush, leaving some of the dark areas to show. I'm even going to take some of this, just yellow and white, and work it up in here. Blend that out so it's even brighter up here on her arm. So that her eye goes to the arm, so that the viewer's eye goes to the arm, and we're going to put a little more highlight in her skin as well, and it'll lead to her eye gazing at the dove. few folds, maybe the light hitting a little bit here. She's not going to have too much of the brighter color underneath her. And we're going to come back with a little liner brush to get in between her fingers so they look normal. There we go. And then a little bit more yellow, maybe that bright yellow color hitting here against those darker areas. Maybe even a little bit more brightness through here. I think I want her shirt to have a little bit more light, little light hits on it over here. There we go. And maybe a little bit right here. There we go. Maybe even down through there a little more. Go back into here and blend that out a little more. I just picked up a little bit more of the orange color and blended that out a little more. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of that quinacridone magenta and hit underneath here. And just blend that out. All right, I'm liking that better. So I'm gonna get this paint out of my brush once we get the dress, once you get the dress the way you like it. And we're gonna decide on what color we want to do her hair. And you can do it any color that you want. We got the base up there. So I'm gonna take some of my unbleached titanium white and just a drop of the burnt sienna. I didn't even get a drop that time, there we go. And maybe a little hint of my white. And let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting in, again, the streaks of hair and I don't want to cover every, I don't want to cover every bit of the color that's already there. So it has this depth to it. You want to make sure that you are getting this color on, but not necessarily covering everything with the, that's the base coat. Thank you. 
And I may even take a little bit more of the titanium white and lighten it even more to add an even deeper layer, a lighter layer. And it's up to you. You can, like I said, you can do this any color that you want. I'm just bringing out a little bit more highlight, just streaking that in. So we're gonna let everything dry. We're gonna rinse out our small round brush. And we're gonna come back and get detail on the hands and the dove and her face. So everything is dry and we're back and we're gonna be mostly using our liner brush. But what I do want to point out is I went ahead and did white for a halo with my um, small round brush and just the thing to think about with your halo is that you want the front part of your halo that's closest to the viewer to be a little bit thicker than the back. And it's just an oval that's a little bit thicker in this front area and thinner towards the back. And we will be adding some color to that as well. So now I'm gonna take my liner brush and I'm gonna be using my round brush just to mix paints with. So I'm, I'm gonna take my, I wanna mix up a little bit of green for my little plant here. So I'm gonna take the blue and the yellow. And remember the blue is really, really strong. So I'm just pulling some of my yellow up here and I'm liking that. And this is just a little hint of green that we're gonna be putting on the painting. So I'm gonna take my liner brush, get it a little wet, and I'm gonna come up, roll my brush into it, and I'm just gonna to start to make little dots that are long ovals for the little leafy parts of the plant. So I've got five little parts there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this same color, pick up a little bit more yellow and just come just below where I have that green and roll and get a little water, roll my little liner brush into it and just come back in and just touch the very tops of these little long ovals. And then I can take that same color and just draw a nice little long stem down. There we go. Now I'm gonna get that green out of my paintbrush, out of my liner brush, and I'm gonna come back in, get some of my white, some water, and mix it up here with this quinacridone magenta pinkish color. And I'm just mixing it with my round brush. I'm not going to be using my round brush. I want this to be a little bit on the lighter pink side. There we go. I think that's a little lighter pink. I'm just testing it out. And I'm going to grab my liner brush and roll into that color. And this is where I'm going to start to do a little bit more detail on her face. So I want to get a little bit more of her nose. A little bit more on her chin. Maybe even put some of that there on the bottom of her chin. There we go. There we go. A little bit there, so there's a few bit of lips there. And I'm going to come back into my Quinacridone Magenta and roll that in. I just want to come up just underneath her chin because underneath your chin is usually a shadowy area. I just want to make sure I create that shadowy area underneath her chin. Get just some of the quinaco down. Maybe touch it to where your, her lips are. There we go. I'm liking that. And I want her forehead to be a little bit more 
bright. So I'm gonna make it come out a little bit more rounded there. It looked kind of flat. I'll just blend that skin tone in there. And then maybe take some of that quinacridone magenta and put that little rouge you look back in if you want that in there. Just blend that in a little bit. There we go. Just have to pretend if you're doing a little bit of makeup here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just, I can leave whatever colors on my little brush here. And I'm going to go ahead. I still want it to be a little lighter pinky area. And I'm going to start to hit up here where her hand is. I need it to be a little bit more pinkish than white. There we go. I just want to hit up here because I want her eye to come up to where her hand is, where she's looking at our little dove friend. You can take some of that little pink color in between there. All right, and then I'm gonna start working on her hand. I think I'm gonna put a little light bit right here, just to contrast with, with underneath her chin. So I just lightened it up. There we go. And then, I'm going to come down, and this is where we can do the detail on our hand down here. Just hit a little highlight where her thumb is, and each little top side of her finger might be. I'm leaving the little shadows in between. And then maybe a little bit of a hit of a light here and there on her hand. And get a little water, a little bit more of that pink, and just kind of blend that all out. So I'm just making little circular motions here to blend her hand a little bit. You can even use your finger. There we go. All right. I want the underside of the hand to be a little bit darker, but maybe a little more pink darker. And then while I have my little brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of this pinkish color, but I want it to be more white than pink. So I'm getting titanium white. I'm just gonna kind of color in her eye. And it's more of a, a triangle shape for her eye for right now. There we go. And then I'm gonna take that same little tip of the brush. I'm not even cleaning it off into my blue and just swirling that around. And I'm gonna hit that right into her eye there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm just gonna put a little dot for a little dovey eye here. And I'm gonna take a little white to her eye here because it got a little bit too big for me. Yeah, so a little lips here to be a little bit more into. There we go. Just put a little bit more of a smile on her face. So I'm going to come back to my round brush and I'm going to take some of my burnt sienna and mix it up into this pink color. So white, quinacridone magenta, and a little burnt sienna. I'm just mixing it with this round brush and then I'm going to take my small liner brush and I'm going to roll that out because we need to put an eyebrow on her. Okay. Need a little bit more of that so she can be seen. There we go. Alright, so now that we have her face the way that we like it, I'm going to go down and work on her bottom hand a little more. 
mostly in between where her fingers are. So I've got all the paint out of my liner brush. So I'm mixing up a little more of that peach color, quinacridone magenta yellow, and some titanium white. And I just wanna go down here and just hit between her fingers down here so that I make sure that I am shaping up the fingers the way that I like them so that they're not too large. There we go, I'm liking that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my small round brush to finish up getting the halo done and a little bit more highlight with just yellow and white. So I'm doing yellow and white only, titanium white and the cadmium yellow. And I wanna come in and maybe hit some areas on her dress that I feel as though not quite bright enough. And I'm just gonna put them in there and blend them with my finger. this same color. I'm just going to go up and go over this white with the yellow. And maybe even hit some of the yellow on my star a little bit. Just pulling that off some more to get a big glow. And then I'm going to tap just a hint of white only. Right on the front part of the halo here. Come back into my orange color, so the quinacridone magenta and the yellow, just so I can get a little backlight on her dress here, and a little backlight back here. So I think everything's looking good. I'm just gonna put a little white with my round brush up on my halo here. Just feel like it just isn't quite as bright as I want it to be. So I just took a little white and then I'm gonna take some of that yellow and go around the back side. A little bit more white to blend in with that yellow around the front. All right, I'm liking the way that looks. So I'm gonna take my liner brush and we're just gonna sign it. I'm going to use my blue and some of the white. I'm just going to sign it down in this lower corner over here out of the way. And there we go. Thank you for keeping me company today, and I hope you created something wonderful for yourself. And until next time, bye-bye.